Greetings. Greetings and welcome. My name is Jake Grayson. I'm a wildlife food forest garden designer and I'm looking at ground cover uh, specifically. Rubus nepalensis, Nepalese rose. I bought these from Eddie. Oh, what on earth are they called? Es not esculent. Down in uh, down in the Thames Valley. Uh, he, does, he does a lot of kind of plant exploration and stuff like that. Um, and I will find the name and I shall put it into the show notes. And, and this is a kind of low growing evergreen ground cover, very handy. Um, I've got bits and pieces that I've just kind of pulled off the off the, gra off the, um, off the ground. And I've potted them on for uh, Alison at Backyard Larder to say thank you for an exchange for the Jerusalem Dwarf Jerusalem artichoke. Oops, see the Scotch broom which has fallen over in the gales and that's a oopsie that's a um green alder yeah, anyway i think it's about time i put a path in there a hard standing path wouldn't go amiss right about now uh, so it's a good you know leave them as grass paths until you actually realize that you need something else so yes this is the backyard larder Jerusalem artichokes, fantastic. So I'll just a couple of little jewels, and I shall pop them in into this pot here. I don't much I've run out of compost today, so I'll go. I'll just go and put them in some in some soil. There we go. So they're great because they grow to 60 centimeters. Like your normal, like most uh, varieties of Jerusalem artichoke will grow to two to three meters. Whereas dwarf, this dwarf, Jerusalem artichoke dwarf, will grow to 60 centimetres. So that's about, oh I don't know, 60 centimetres, about that high. As opposed to 3 metres, it's about that high. So the trouble with uh, Jerusalem artichoke is they keep on, um, they'll, if you're in a windy spot like here, they'll blow down a lot. So you have to keep on tying them up together and stuff. So dwarf juice and jokes, great. Apparently bred in Holland and then came via Denmark to the UK. And I've got two tubers, so I'll pl I won't harvest them this year. I'll 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 grow them on, and then I'll get more tubers, and then I'll plant those out next year. So there we go. Um, thanks for watching. I'm gonna have a cup of tea. Bye.